Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm a guy called Joe. This is Bootstrapping Tools, Let's Build, where we help scrappy bootstrappers just like yourself figure out how they can supercharge their workflows by leveraging various third-party tools and applications. Now, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how you can dynamically update your Google Forms dropdown questions. Now, it's just super helpful when you have a uh, dropdown list that is constantly changing and you don't wanna to have to manually update it every single time. So the way we're going to be doing this is we're going to be using a Google form that is connected to a Google Sheet. And then within the Google Sheet, we're going to have a separate tab that is going to be configured to manage that list of options. And then we're going to set up a small script using Google Apps Scripts in order to dynamically update the Google form question by taking the data from that Google Sheet. But uh, enough talk. Let's go ahead and just dive right into it. All right, so up on the screen, we have the Google form that we created in a previous video, and we also hooked it up to a Google Sheet, which actually cleared out all the responses so that we can start a little fresh in today's video. Um, but what we also did was we changed some of the questions that we have on here so that before it was a request type and then also the thing that was being requested. But I changed these two to drop down values, one of them being interviewing with, which is just a set of names, and then a department drop down. Uh, so this is essentially going to be a form where you have on-site interviews coming into the office and you want them to check in uh, to the interview and you want them to let you know who they're actually going to be speaking with. So the department one, you're not really going to change that drop down. However, interviewing with that might change consistently day after day. Uh, so what we want to do here is we're going to create a script that is going to take the set of names that you have, uh, all the interviewers that, that you might have, and then dynamically update this particular question whenever uh, the script runs. So going into our spreadsheet, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our script editor. So we're gonna go over to the tools option in the menu bar, and then we're gonna click on the script editor option. So clicking on that is gonna open up a new tab. We have a couple of different functions here already that we created previously. I'm going to hide those. We're gonna create a brand new function today, and we're just gonna call this uh, set interview dropdown. Interviewers dropdown. And then within here, uh, there's a couple of things that we're gonna do first. The first thing is we're going to create a variable for the form. So it's gonna be var form equals form app. This is just like the spreadsheet app and it's another library that Google provides to us so that we can interact with Google Forms. And then we're gonna say open by ID. And the way you're gonna grab that ID is by essentially going over to the form and then grabbing it from the URL. So you're gonna grab everything in between the slash D and the slash edit. I'm just gonna put this right into the parentheses using quotation marks. And then from there, we're going to get the items within that form. So we're gonna declare a new variable called items, so var items. And then we're gonna say form.getItems. And this is a function that the form app provides to us. So within here, we're gonna create a quick for loop. So for var i in items, and then we're going to just console log all of the items that are within there. And we're going to say items I dot get title. And then we're just going to add in a little hyphen over here to make it easier to read. And we're going to say items I dot get ID. So the reason we're doing this is because we need to actually get the ID of the question uh, that we're going to manipulate using the data uh, from our spreadsheet. So let's go ahead and just quickly save this and then run it. And then within our uh, console log, we're gonna be able to see that interviewing with has an ID starting with one six and ending in six three. So just go ahead and copy that. We're gonna save this for later. So make that into a comment over here. Let's make this a little bit bigger. And essentially this is gonna be the ID that we're gonna use in order to grab the correct question and update uh, that question in particular. So here we're just going to say, go ahead and say interviewer question. And then we're just going to set form dot get item by ID. And we're going to shove in the ID that we just copied in. So this is going to help us pinpoint it. Now, before we move forward, let's go back over to our spreadsheet. And what we're going to do is we're going to utilize the spreadsheet in order to actually 
uh, manage the number of names or options that we're going to use. So go ahead on the bottom, click on the add sheet button. And we're going to have a new sheet over here. Let's call this settings. And then within here, let's go ahead and set up uh, everything in column A to be the name. So we can just say interviewers so that we have a nice header. And on the spreadsheet before we had Bob Dylan, we had Steve Irwin, we had John Smith. Let's also add in a couple other names. We can in um, Joe John, I guess, why not? Jane Doe. And then we can also add in one more, let's say Levi um, Ackerman. So going back over to our Google form, right now we only have Bob Dylan, John Smith, and Steve Irwin. So when we run the script later, what we expect to see is the addition of Joe John, uh, of Levi Ackerman, and also of Jane Doe. So going over to our code, now what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, declare the spreadsheet. So that's SS, short for spreadsheet. We're gonna do the spreadsheet app. And then we're gonna say open by ID again, and we're just gonna go ahead and grab the ID. So we go over to our spreadsheet and grab everything in between the slash D and the slash edit uh, within the URL. We'll also put that into quotation marks. And then we're gonna find our sheet, which is going to be called uh, settings. So we're gonna do ss dot get sheet get sheet by name settings and then we're going to get the range from that so it's going to be var range equals sheet dot get range and we want to start from the second row because remember we have the header row in the in the first row uh, so we want to start from two and then one for column a and then here what we're going to do is we're going to say sheet dot get last row and then it's only one column that we're grabbing. So from that, we're going to declare our interviewers. And that's going to be range dot get values. So before we go forward, let's go ahead and uh, just console log this. So we say console log interviewers. And let's go ahead and run this. So we actually don't need this code anymore. So we can comment that out first and let's run it. So we can see here, we have Bob Dylan, Steve Irwin, all the way up to Levi Ackerman. Uh, you also notice that there's a blank value over here as well. We're gonna wanna remove that. And we're also going to wanna flatten this out because this is a nested array right now. And that's not what we want. When we sh send values up into the Google form, we want that to be one level of an array. So we're gonna use the flat uh, option. So underneath the interviewers, let's go ahead and just say interviewers equals interviewers uh, dot flat. And then we can repeat that and just do a filter option now. So we're going to do row and the fat arrow function row does not equal. So that's the exclamation mark equals equal, and then double quotation for the blank width in it. And we're going to say interviewers equals that. So now when we run this code again, we should expect to see one level of uh, an array with no uh, blank option within it. So we run this and just as we need it, uh, it goes from Bob Dylan to Levi Ackerman, no nested arrays, no blanks. So now that we have this data, the next thing we need to do is we just need to set the value to that question. We already have that question set up for interviewer question. So copy that and put it down here. And then this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Instead of just saying set value like you do in the spreadsheet app, we're going to say as list item dot set choice values. And within there, that's where we're going to put in interviewers. So before we run this, just want to quickly show again within the interviewing with question, we only have three options now. When we run this code, we should expect to see that that doubles. We're going to add in three additional values, one for Levi, one for Joe, and one for Jane. So go ahead and run this. Next, you can start it. Interviews is not defined because I forgot the ER. Typos, always a problem. Go ahead and save that after you fix it and then hit the run button again. Execution completed. We go over to our Google form. Now we can see that we have six options altogether. And if you decided to say, you know what, 
Bob's actually no longer interviewing. He's not allowed to interview anybody. So we're gonna go, just go ahead and remove him from it. And we run this code again. Just go ahead and update that. And then when we go into the Google forum, Bob is no longer on the list. And so you can set this to update once a day. You can set it to update whenever this column is updated. Uh, you can do it however you want. You can also just manually run it uh, whenever you want so that you can quickly update all those fields. You can also use this to update multiple fields at a time. You would just have to find the values and set them to the individual questions um, using the IDs whenever you want to make those changes. But that's it for this video. If you did run into any issues, feel free to drop a comment in the section below. We're always here to help, so don't be shy. If you did like the video, make sure to hit that like button. It's the best way to support this channel and help us continue making content for you and all you scrappy bootstrappers out there. We also have a lot of videos coming out, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and also the bell so that you get notified when we release the next video. But I'm a guy called Joe. This is Bootstrapping Tools, but let's build. It's been a pleasure and we're out.